In this video, we're going to briefly go over some of the differences between multi-axis machining and conventional CNC lathe and mill operations where we're operating with three and uh, two axis systems. So um, what we have here is just a brief machine simulation that we're going to run with a three axis simulation system. So when I hit play in the machine simulation, the first thing that you'll note is we have a machine turret. If I pause it quickly, you'll see that this is the turret and there are several tools loaded in the turret. And some of these tools are live. In other words, these tools rotate. Um, and we'll, you'll see that referred to in this lesson uh, frequently throughout. Uh, when we're talking about live tooling, we're talking about tooling that rotates, typically like an end mill or a drill bit or a countersink that may be mounted in a powered turret. So here's our workpiece, and I'll continue the simulation, and you'll see that the workpiece rotates although it's not typical of rotation that you would see in a turning operation. In this case here, the workpiece is rotating the part to index it to properly achieve the pattern that you see being machined, uh, which I'll pause the simulation, which looks like a sprocket of some sort. And this is typical of, in this case here, a fourth axis system. The rotation is provided by or through the C axis. And the C axis is the axis which rotates about the center line of the part or the Z axis. And this allows for precise indexing of the part for multi axis machining operations. So let's go ahead and continue the simulation. And again, we're machining, we're rotating the part about the, about the C axis while we're also uh, making cuts with a live end mill uh, cutting on the side of, of the tool. Okay, so we'll go ahead and continue this simulation. Now the tool changes, the turret rotates, and we have a small end mill that is being used to machine pockets in the end of or in the face of the workpiece. And you'll see how the articulation of the C axis combined with the motion of the turret, in this case here, supplies the movement or the motion that's needed to achieve the feature that we're trying to achieve. In this case here, a nice triangular pocket in the end of the part. And this is just a quick example of multi-axis machining that we will be exploring in this module. Mm -hmm. 